guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to episode 11 of Bang Dream. It's my goal, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Stop, you can make me cry again. <laughs> If y'all don't hug. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do people in the audience cry too? I mean, because I, I mean, I would too. I cried last week. How can you drink at a time like this, ma'am? Oh. Is this gonna hurt like last week? <laughs> I mean, like, seriously, just to have all four of them in that moment like become as one and feel each other's emotion last week was just mwah, everything and everything that I needed in that moment because especially I did not have the greatest day at work <laughs> um and it, you know how it's just something you need after a really hard day at work and I needed that you need a good cry and I felt like we're well hopefully we don't get that today but maybe more next week because, you know, next Thursday is not going to be the greatest day for me. Next Thursday or Friday. And I'm not ready for that. <laughs>
Very much so. Hmm. You know when Rana sets up <laughs> wants to do something, she's not taking no for an answer. I mean, didn't get in it that quick. Awkward, huh? Right? Like, damn, y'all all kind of made up last week. So don't be so mean. Mm -mm. <laughs> don't lie. <laughs> So, are, are we performing? We know. Hmm. Do we have time to write a new song? What? Right? I mean, because we're all still wondering how the name Maigo came to existence, which we know the symbolism of it, especially if you've learned it and everything. But still, my thing is I want to know where y'all came up with it. And hopefully we get to see that, at least between this week and next week, because we are so close to being done with this. I think it can too.
she was gonna, you know, persuade you. Come on, it's Morty, for Christ's sake. Just so Yeah, I mean, hold on. Did you just ask that question? If you need costumes, yes, you need costumes. Costumes make the show. Besides the music, also costumes. You gotta look good, duh. <laughs> My baby! You just need to give me 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 me. I mean, technically, we've kind of gotten to see everybody and popping, but I still wish I got to see my Rosalia babies, but I get it. Oh. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I feel like once, you know, they officially get into the game, we're going to see Soyo's house as the background or any time where they're having predominantly their meetings and such. It makes the most sense. <laughs> oh. No, she needs quiet. Excuse me? Time out. Time. Hold fucking everything. That's your grandma? Oh my god. I, I want to just, what in the world? I thought the dress was cute, though.
I mean, it is cute, but it, it doesn't really suit the taste of the five of you. You need all five of your tastes to combine. Aww. <laughs> Sorry. That was triggering for her. Poor baby. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. Very obvious. Mm -hmm. I, I still feel in some way, shape, or form that in a way they all used each other. I feel like the only one who maybe didn't was Rana, but in a way Rana did too. Mini taco on Yeah. Me. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, wait.
She's sleeping too comfortable. There has to be a reason why it's cut up because I think they're they're trying to make the outfit similar to the 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 thumbnail that I use for the um for the series that and plus there was another thumbnail I think that was released several months prior to the anime being announced where there it's more like two D it was the very first initial one and that was <laughs> at first when i saw that i really predominantly thought we were going back to a 2d version of the anime and i was like oh shoot i'm kind of excited even though i do love the 3d aspect of it um but then when we got to see the newer version i was just like yes that's just it hits but it's going to be what predominantly the outfits are in the opening and from the thumbnail that i use now this episode yes in a way, Soyo is still, of course, butthurt and stuff. I get that. Yes, I've been that same type of person who has been butthurt. And how, even with her <laughs> in the group chat, leaves the group chat, but she still probably gets, like, text messages and ish. That's, like, how I'm... Okay, so, like, I'm in a Discord with a bunch of my YouTuber friends, and I haven't really talked to majority of them like in, a, in the podcast that I do and like a hot minute because I'm always busy and such but when I do have time I talk to them and ish but um yeah I still get text messages from like the whole freaking thing um the calls everything <laughs> they're so cute I don't know. it really suits them like it, it gives me especially when I heard their songs for the first time like I kind of instantly got like afterglow vibes then I kind of got Rosalia vibes and then I also got like a little bit of Razor Silen vibes so like literally if you take those three mix them up and sit all together you do get this group but at the same time I will say and I've said it with like every other girl for each band and stuff how their voices are very unique that is the same thing with Tomori Seiyu. Like, I, I feel like when I hear, when I listen to her voice, her voice is very calming and soothing. Um, as is too with Best Girl Yukina and Best Band, Rosalia. Um, any song that Rosalia has, like, I, I can feel any emotion and stuff. I always, what I like about Maigo is when it's emotional and it's impactful, it hits and it hits really good. Like, you, their songs are the types of songs that you would listen to when you need a really good cry. And it really emphasizes on that, especially with how last week concluded and with the five of them crying, finally being together as one, at first being lost, and now it's just like, let's all be lost together. And that's how My Go was created. But I really do enjoy their songs. They're not, their songs are very much different from, like, looking at Popping Party and stuff. It does give me... Does it give me bubblegum pop vibes? No. I will still say Popping Party, Pastel Palettes, and Hello Happy World are definitely the quote-unquote bubblegum pop-esque. There's, like, a... When I think of, like, Rosalia, I get kind of poppy vibes, but more rock vibes way more Fonica, I will still say they are kind of bubblegum poppy-ish vibes, but I'm not mad at them because their music and their sound is very different, especially with, once again, a violin. And I never thought a violin could work in a band, but once again, with this series, it loves to prove me wrong, and I'm not mad at that. But with these girls, I, I'm not gonna say, like, if I, okay, if I could compare this band to a real-life, maybe, singer... Oh, the one that I'm thinking of kind of right now 
is a little Billie Eilish to me. And don't don't take that in a wrong way. Um, Billie Eilish may be like, not Lana Del Rey. I, I feel like, because see, when I think of Rosalia, I instantly think of like any rock band, so like Paramore, Linkin Park, whatever. Um, but instantly, like their song, like with my go, their song's really good and it gives me somewhat a Billie Eilish feels. But when you have those one song, the, a couple of songs that are very like, I need you to sit and I need you to hear me word for word for word. And I need you to feel everything that I felt in those moments, like especially with Billie Eilish's song for Barbie. That is a very emotional song. And when you sit and really truly listen to those words and the message she's trying to convey in this song, you're like, oh shit, like, damn, now I really understand what she meant by this, is that, and the third. It is really much the same with this group. And especially with, you know, Tomani trying to convey her emotions to Soyo last week and such. And whatever the heck they're going to sing next week, because really I am very, I am on the edge of my feet wondering what the heck they're going to sing next week. Whatever they do sing next week, it's going to be good. And it, hell, it might even make me cry. Besides last week, the last time that I really cried at this series was season three, and the, uh, season two, season three, and then before that was the season one finale. And yeah, <laughs> of course, because it was the end of the show. And then also, um, I can't talk about that thing because I have a promise with someone um, over it. But yeah, <laughs> I still can't talk about it. I, I would love to talk about that thing and why there is a connection between me and this series, but unfortunately I cannot say anything um, and such, but uh, it, it's a good thing and I'm always so happy about it till this day. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this episode. I do, like, I love the fact that Ion was like, yes, let's take a picture, you know, to start social media and stuff. And, you know, so you're instantly kind of getting triggered and being like, oh my god, I don't want to do this. Like, <laughs> you're making me do too freaking much. And I, I get it. I get it. She still feels some type of way. And, th and that's okay. It is really going to take her, of course, the longest to finally warm up. And I think even when they finally do eventually get into the game, she might still be like that and such. Who really knows? And sometimes it makes you wonder, like, even now, like, are we really truly seeing the real soil? I mean, you know, when first, firstly, when her and Ion met, you knew that, like, of course, she was being very fake and very, you know, judgmental and stuff. Almost, quote unquote, mean girl-esque. Um, but I still like that about her. And now seeing her more, still a little bit peeved but she's trying her hardest to be a little more calmer I still love her she's still a very interesting character very different from most girls in like any idol band type series so I do hope that in any other series we get more characters like her Rana same thing because she's very enjoyable as well hell I would love to see more characters very similar to these five. I mean, truly, hopefully, in the future that does happen. So I, I do hope that, you know, companies, anime companies who are watching this series just as much as anyone else are really taking notes. How, Toei, if you really wanted to do a Magical Girl Pretty Cure series on it, take them notes, please and thank you. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 11 of Bang Dream. It's my goal. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday. Um, let me go ahead and say this now. Like I said in the video, next week is going to be really, really, really heckish for me. Um, I will be coming home late next Thursday because due to some things with what my boss is doing, buying another store and such, um, I will be very tired. So I will try to get the next episode um, out on Thursday, but if you don't see it on Thursday, you will see it, mm, I'm about to say Monday, Friday morning at the latest while I am at work. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.